Good evening. I am so honored to be here at Magis Night. Being here is an incredible experience. My classmates and I are also so grateful for your prayers and support over the last four years. As of this moment, we have only 83 days until the class of 2022 <laughs> becomes graduates of Arupe Jesuit. What's interesting is I remember a mere 1,869 <laughs> days ago when I was in eighth grade wearing my suit and tie, I walked up the front steps of Arupe. My mother was by my side saying, you can do this, my little businessman. <laughs> now, I might have been a little businessman, but at that moment, all I felt was scared and nervous. I was about to have an interview for Arupe, and I knew the decision had the potential to change my life. After my interview, and before Arupe ever sent out their acceptance letters, I remember my mom saying to me, you are going to Arupe. I told her, I hope so, but we still had to wait for the letters to show up. She answered, you are going to Arupe. <laughs> A few weeks later, I was in my eighth grade class when she texted me once again saying, you are going to Arupe. This time, she sent me a picture of the acceptance letter, confetti and all. <laughs> I remember jumping out of my chair, and I remember being grateful that my eighth grade teacher was so understanding. <laughs> After I was accepted at Arupe, I learned about the corporate work study program. Now, I don't know how exactly I missed that one minor detail, such a core part that makes Arupe stand out, the part that helps each student stand out, the part that, with our resumes, but I did. Honestly, I was accepted at Arupe before I knew the school was gonna put me to work. <laughs> Even when my mom told me about the work study program, I didn't think she meant it literally. literally. <laughs> I was going to work. In the summer before freshman year, every new student had to complete corporate work study training. I was nervous that July, meeting all these people I didn't know. They were all strangers to me, but I also knew Arupe was helping me. I was learning all about Excel and how to manage spreadsheets, how to give a good handshake, and how to communicate with others. Arupe Jesuit was preparing me to be work experienced. Arupe didn't want me to fit in. Arupe wanted me to stand out and show the world who I truly am. Now, let's get back to my career as a little businessman. <laughs> Imagine this scene. 14-year-old Brian in my professional shirt and tie heading to my first day at work at PDC Energy. I remember how nervous I was walking downtown hoping that I didn't get lost on my first day. I finally arrived at my job site and waited in the lobby where I met my supervisor for the first time. They took me around the whole building, introducing me to everyone. I felt like the day was never ending. <laughs> I remember my mom texting me that day, asking me how work was. I told her I was nervous and completely stressed out. She responded with, it's going to be okay. She told me to look outside real quick and look at the sun. She told me, the sun gets up every day and we get up every morning and we keep going. As long as the sun is up, we have a reason to keep going. Then she said to me, you are my sun, you are my sunshine. The reason I get up every morning, you are the reason why I keep pushing every day. Now, it's your turn to find your own sun. Find the sunshine that pushes you. 
being at PDC, I found purpose that my mom was talking about. PDC felt like a home. As a freshman, I received my employee badge. With my name and my picture, I thought it was perfect. <laughs> In my mind, I was like, yeah, that's right. I work here. <laughs> I have a job. I liked everything about my workday. The walk from the bus stop to the building, the elevator ride, elevator ride up to the office, and putting on that badge, I felt so important. PDC will forever be a part of me. And that's the whole point. Our time at Arupe is meant to change us and to help us grow. This year, when I had the opportunity to begin working with a new company, Eon Health, I had the same feeling of being welcomed. My time at Eon has been amazing, and the people there are incredibly supportive. At Eon, I have learned all about the medical software industry and how to navigate it. And I have learned just as much about the real world and how to navigate it as well. My coworkers have taught me how to find my calling and how to chase after it. Now, I'm in my final year, and I often think about how to chase my calling. Next year, I hope to attend either Loyola University Chicago or the University of Denver. I've been accepted to both. While I don't know for sure what my major will be, I know I want to make a change in the world. I want to be able to open doors for people just the same way that the people at Eon and PDC have opened doors for me. I want to be the role model for my little cousins so they know they can accomplish their dreams. Now I want to offer you one more important date in my high school career. 317 days ago, I set out on Kairos 42. As a junior, Kairos taught me how to look at the world differently. On Kairos, the senior leaders helped me connect with myself and how to find my vocation. This year, I had the honor to help lead Kairos 45, and that's where I got to experience God's time because I was able to serve the juniors and appreciate the gift of helping others. So now I'm here sharing my time with you all. Giving this talk is similar to giving a talk at Kairos. By sharing my stories and the love I've received, I hope that we're all able to grow closer as a community. My time at Arupe has been the biggest honor of my life. I have grown closer to God, to my classmates, and to my teachers. I truly feel home here at Arupe Jesuit. Here at Arupe, I found my sunshine. As I look back at the last four years, I think of the strangers that I met on my first day of school when I entered the gym looking for my class schedule. And I realized that those teachers and, stu and students aren't strangers anymore. 1,869 days later, they are my family, and they always will be. So I would like to say thank you to everyone who has joined us here. You are also my family. And you make it possible for me and for my classmates to have that experience of turning strangers into family. Lastly, I want to thank my mom. I, <laughs> I know that I've worked so hard for the past four years because of my mom. She pushed me every moment 
from the day that I applied to tonight where I'm standing here in front of you. Even on the days when I didn't want to get up, she made me go and try my best. I owe her everything for the past 6,373 days <laughs> and counting. Thank you, you remain in my prayers, and I am grateful for yours. If you'll now turn your attention to the video screen, we're going to meet some alumni from Arupe Jesuit. Thank you. 